good afternoon um welcome to my youtube channel today we're revisiting one of our previous tutorials look ahead filter in microsoft project um so this is the tutorial i'm talking about if you've not um if you've not watched it i would advise you do so before you're embarking on the current tutorial so the plan today is to see how we can extend it create another view of a filter so that you can use in your meetings so um, assuming we've got this shadow it's just a, a basic shadow in microsoft project um, i already have a filter um, a view set up for my look ahead so this time it's a 90 day look ahead so if i select that view so these are the tasks that are either in progress or will be starting in the next 90 days okay so you can see this the tasks are displayed in the grouping is by like wbs by summary tasks project management engineering dummy shadow but what if um i want to focus on another way or say another way would be in your look ahead meeting so when you're sending out your look ahead in an email you send out the standard format you can also send out another view where everything is saved and the grouping is by dates so um let's go ahead so what i'll do is um, save a copy of this view and to do that you click on your ribbon on that task click on Gantt chart more views since I already have a 90 day look ahead based on WBS, I'll just take a copy and this time I'll call it 90 day look ahead date. Yeah, just leave everything the same for now. Click OK and apply. Yeah, it's still because we we'll saved the copy, it's still the same. So, what we need to do now, we go to view on the filter you see it's got the 90 day look ahead filter applied so it's a group by we want to so click on the drop down and you click on more groups so this time we we'll go for since we're dealing with task you we'll go for a new group so we'll call it 90 day look ahead start date because I'm, I'm going to go by start date make sure the show in menu box is the checkbox is ticked so that um, it appears under the grouping so say goodbye we go for start we go for start and um, click save oh, I need to edit something yep click save apply so you see it's grouped by start dates now so we have to fine-tune this a little bit but first of all let's visit our view click on more view edit you can see previously it had um no grouping but now it's automatically selected the group or what the grouping will apply it. so everything is fine close this now being a 90 day look ahead i mean showing the start date is just not enough and the timeline months uh, maybe the first thing i'll do is change the timeline double click on the timeline the middle tier I change it to months the bottom tier to weeks and um, I look for weeks yep the... yeah this is better if I go to task okay yeah so this is better but 
as you can see the fonts here are still small so if i go back to view group by more groups and edit my group so now i'm going to change the font to 12 to align with others i mean you can use anything you like so group in because it's a 90 day look ahead i want to the interval should be group activities by by weeks now it's just grouping them by start dates by the exact date so that's yeah it's in by each value by the exact date if you've got a, a two week look ahead you can group by days if you got a one week look ahead if you want to group by hours you can do so but because i've got a long like a 90 day window i'll, I'll go for weeks and i'll say group interval one week interval just show group activities by the week they occur and i'm starting because my project starts on the 9th of january the start it's 9th of january here too it's yeah yep now go from 9th of january I click save apply yeah so you can see it's showing you it's grouped by active by weeks activities happening starting 9th to 15th the next set starts from 30th of january to the 5th of february and so on for up so you notice that um i've not shown the summary task but it's up to you when i'm grouping in this when i group um, in a view like this i don't like showing the summary task but to do that if you want the summary task you can go like edit you can say maintain hierarchy i need to show the hierarchy of each task but um i prefer the other way keep it simple so yep it's simple for me i know you can also if you've got other fields you want to group by so you can group start the top there so you can start with by you can start your group by with start date if you've got something as defined like um let's see do i have anything defined here no um you could buy if you have custom fits for like location or anything you can just you can group by so many levels okay so it's limitless so i shouldn't say it's limitless it's it's really up to you how far you want to group so uh thank you for watching um i'll catch you next time mm -hmm.